Okay, so let's talk about money because a lot of people haven't really thought about it very deeply and it's time to look at it and say, what the heck is money? What are we actually doing here? Money is violence. That's the bottom line. Now, a lot of people think money is something physical like paper or coins. No, it's not. And even if we went to the gold standard or silver standard or something, and all money was gold or silver, it would still not be anything different than it is today, except that there's a limited amount of gold and silver in the world, so you'd have enough, you'd have a problem negotiating transactions because you'd end up finding that your piece of gold was like minuscule. Say, this is a $20 piece. Here, it's a little speck. And you're like, that's ridiculous. I'm trading specks of gold. It doesn't really work. That's because people haven't thought it through and say, what is money? <clears throat> so when you go to the bank and you deposit money, what, what happens next? Well, most of us have a debit card or a credit card, and we access that money through the card. So we go to Walmart or some supermarket or any place, and we swipe a card. What is actually happening when you do that? It's not about paper. It's not about dollar bills. You might get some back cash back or something, but that's not what is going on, really. What's really going on is numbers are changing in computer databases. Yeah. And, you know, that's also going on when you go to Facebook and make a post. Computer databases are changing. Entries are changing. Information is changing. So money is information, fundamentally. But not just information. It's information backed up by force of law. Now, there are no laws telling Facebook what is going on with Facebook. Facebook determines how Facebook works. How your information is handled on Facebook. It's up to Facebook. But money, oh, that's a different story. There are lots of laws about money and how money must be handled and how monetary transactions must be this and that and the other thing and they can't be this or that or the other thing and da 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 da, -da. There's thousands of laws and regulations. And it's all about government. And government stands behind it with a gun. It says, you will obey the rules of money or we will hurt you. Maybe we'll even kill you, but we'll definitely hurt you and put you in prison. <clears throat> even though if you're really rich it seems like that doesn't matter very much you can violate the rules if you're really rich but poor people they have to follow the rules yeah or violence will come your way when you get up into the higher echelons of money you see it works the other way the government has to listen to the people who have a lot of money or the government will be hurt mm-hmm it's violence the other way, but it's always violence. And even if you're outside of government, you take out a loan from a mafia figure or some loan shark or something, and you get a thousand dollars and you don't pay it back on time, there's gonna be violence, you understand? The violence is always there. Enforcing money, letting everybody know, this is not just some mental exercise, you're not just making a post on Facebook, this is money. And this is serious, and we get violent over it. We kill people over this stuff. Who cares about Facebook? Twitter, the internet, post away, have fun. Yeah, you'll change numbers in databases, but who cares? But with money, you change numbers in databases, we care. And we're going to use violence to prove it. We're serious about this. We're enforcing the rules of money with violence. Whether it's through government, through black market, or banks. Banks enforce the rule of money through money, which is violence. So nations like Cyprus who don't pay their money back, uh, well, then there's going to be violence. We're going to enforce the rules of money from the ECB or from some other organization outside of Cyprus 
So it's not really about Cyprus and the government of Cyprus, it's really about the other organizations imposing violence on Cyprus. That's what's going on now, and that's what's going on all over the world. Money is violence, so we need to look at it that way and stop saying, oh, it's a nice thing, money's a good thing. No, it's not. It's an evil thing. It's about the rule of violence in the world. Money serves violence. And violence serves money. It's a dark, dark conspiracy, an evil thing. And we're trapped in it because we don't know how to get out of it. It's like, we never learned how to cooperate here. We never learned how to be good with each other because money doesn't teach us how to be good. It teaches us how to be selfish and greedy. Domination and control. Those are the lessons of money. It feeds that part of our nature which is interested in being dominant which is interested in controlling others, which is greedy and wants more than it needs. That's the part that money serves. It serves the dark side. So don't think it's a good thing. It's not a good thing. And when you use money, you're serving the dark side. Even if you do good things with money, you're still serving the dark side. Because you're not changing anything. You're not changing the rules of money by going out and buying some food for a hungry person and giving it to them, you haven't changed the rules of money. You've done something good. You've fed a hungry person, but you haven't changed the rules of money. You haven't changed the system. It's still evil. It's still based on violence, the rule of the gun. You see? And most of us, when confronted with this, go, well, you know, you're probably right, Steve, but what can I do? Oh, well, you can tell the truth about money. That's something you can do. You can tell everybody it's an evil thing. It's about violence and domination and control. And we really need to get rid of it because it's not a good way to run the world. And it is running the world. We're hurting a lot of people. We're starting wars and doing terrible things to each other for the sake of money, in service to money, which is an idea in our head, ultimately. You can't give me money, really. What you do is you give me an artifact of money. If you give me a silver coin or a piece of paper that says so many dollars on it, that's an artifact. It's like, uh, hey, hey, this resembles something that you can never see and you can never touch. But it's violence in human affairs. It's domination and control. And that's the thing that we're worshipping. That's our God. For practical purposes. Because we don't know how else to do things. Oh, we do. Individually. But collectively we don't. It's very rare to see people get together and actually do things for others collectively. It does happen. I remember once when there was a hurricane and... I went and I helped in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, Hurricane Agnes. I help people who need help. And a lot of people do this. It does happen. But it's kind of limited in scope, usually about disasters. We come out for each other during disasters. But in normal everyday life, no, we don't know how to help each other. We do it through money. That's how we do it. We work together through the money medium. And that's the only way, pretty much. Think about that. Why is there not another way? Why is there no other way to help people collectively, for us to come together and help people? Why is it only money matters, only money works? Because we haven't created another way. Because we're so focused on money and everybody's like, oh, money's the thing. Yeah, money, money, money. We're going to fight over money. I get the money. No, I get the money. Oh, no, I get the money. And we go back and forth over who gets the money. But we don't spend our time going, let's create an alternative to money. We don't need to play the money game. Oh, my God. He's saying create an alternative to money. 
Yes, I am. That's what needs to be done. Because if you did have an alternative to money, then we'd have a choice. We could say, well, we want to build this bridge. Well, we can use money or we can use option B. Hmm. Well, then option B would be up against money. And it would be like a choice of which is the better option, money or option B. Well, it might be that option B is the better option. <clears throat> right? Because the rules of how option B work would be different than the rules of how money work. It might be better to use option B. So we need to think about option B and creating option B. That's where we need to put our focus, not on let's fix money. Money is a failed system. It doesn't work. We've had money for a very long time and we know it doesn't work. We're destroying the earth for the sake of money. We're creating war and terrorism for the sake of money. We're feeding the evil in humanity for the sake of money. Money is an evil thing. And the longer we sit around going, oh, we got to play money games. We just got to play money games. No, you don't have to play the money game. You have to create an alternative so that nobody needs to play the money game. That there's always a choice. And I think as soon as we create that choice, money's going to fall flat on its face. It's going to be like, oh, damn, nobody wants to play with money anymore. We created a better thing. And just about anything we do would be better. As long as it's not predicated on violence. Option B has to be a peaceful alternative to violence because that's what option A is. Money is violence. Option B needs to be peace. It needs to be peaceful cooperation rather than violent control. Control is not a virtue. Violence is not a virtue. You're not going to get virtue from things that aren't virtuous. You have to start with virtue. Love is a virtue, kindness is a virtue, honesty is a virtue, truthfulness is a virtue. Be honest, tell the truth, care about others, be kind, love your neighbor. That's where option B is. It's somewhere in those things. Not in, we have to control the world and we're going to use guns to do it. And money, guns and money. The guns back up the money. And the money is the means of changing the world. And we've done a lot of change to the world through money and guns. But look at the results. Say, what is it? What, what is nuclear power and how is that working? It's working horribly. It's a nightmare. And that's all about money. Renewable energy. Hey, there you go. That's the solution. Create a peaceful currency to support renewable energy. There's your answer. Think about it. Work on it. Talk with others about it. Come to consensus. Find out where the cooperative area is. And do that. Blessings.